Okay, Molly, watch out. Alright, maybe we got this a little closer this time. I did put, you know, some real light guidelines on there. Just so I can see where the horizontal lines were. I wish this was a little bit higher up, but we'll This is like a cross between a Roman alphabet and sort of a P.T. Barnum or Western style font. And what I like about it is he didn't bother with any square corners, which I'm a fan of. Work your butt off trying to make something square. Kind of overshot the mark there. Not over there, so. This paint is going sticky in a hurry. That's the nice thing about littering paint. This stuff is made to dry. It wants to dry. Kind of a makeshift easel here on the table. A couple of paint cans, <laughs> gallon paint cans behind this thing. And this crack is cut in here. We don't really want to paint down into that. We want to keep it up on the surface because the paint wouldn't be down in there now, would it? Quit that. hair. See it? Just pinch it off on the side of your cup there. And this is interesting that you put an angle on this here. That's a little bit of a stylized approach. Kind of like it. I started painting signs when I was in high school. My parents opened up a drive-in restaurant, you know, burgers and fries, ghost of. We just have some picnic tables. I was volunteered by my father to paint the signs for it, which I wanted to do. We went to the local Yump Lumber Yard and bought some enamel paint, plain old enamel paint. And I didn't know anything about lettering brushes at that time. So what I ended up was pretty rough stuff. And I sure wish I had some pictures of that. But I don't think it exists. My first effort. Divot in the board there. Now this is a little bit different because it's a, a restoration. So I'm trying to do a pretty good representation of what the original was intended. So if you see me going back and fixing strokes and stuff like that a lot. That's just part of the process. You don't want to piddle it too much though. Once that paint starts getting tacky, you're not going to do anything with it. Make it worse. You can always repair a line while it's wet. I'm going to start tacking up. 
won't be near so friendly. I'm used to working off of a nice stationary easel. It's four foot tall and twelve feet long. This little makeshift one on my porch is not quite as comfortable. So then when I was in high school, even as you were ready to graduate, our school district had just completed a uh, vocational school part of the system. Sort of teach kids hands on things in a mechanics, heating and air. But they were offering a printing class also. So I got a grant after I graduated from high school to go back to the tech school to study graphic arts for a year. And started working for a sign company that same summer. I just turned 57, so that was 40 years ago. <sighs> so I would say realistically, I've probably spent 50,000 hours with a brush in my hand. <laughs> A long damn time. You see that? Tip the brush, just flip the paint up on my knuckle. And that's how a sign painter always gets paint on their clothes. You just wipe it off. But anyway, we'll continue on there. And we'll be back to show you some more. All right. It's probably all I don't know. 20, 30 minutes later, we've got one coat on everything. Looks pretty good. Two coats are going to look better, though. So, I think I'll throw it out in the sun for a little while and uh, go ahead and just get that done. And then when I start on the shadows and the other things, that'll be done. So, let's dry for a while. I'll be back. Okay, so I've got two coats of the ivory color on there now. I've just mixed up some, well, some dark green with some imitation gold and chrome yellow. I just got paint on the head again, so I'll do some shadowing. I'm going to have to be careful because this paint is wet. You don't want to get tracks in it from your mall stick. Originally, this would have been done with one stroke, but I didn't bring a brush on that big. And in order to make sure that when I cover over what he did, I'm going to take two strokes to do the same thing. I'm going to try to.
usually shadows go pretty quick. Because you get it anywhere near in the right places. At all, and your mind will fill it in. And it'll look okay. So there's no point in being too anal about it. consideration is to keep an equal space in the letter to where the paint starts. You know, he was he was pretty sloppy. But I can't fault him for that because I do them that way too a lot. When it's all done, it will look fine. So anyway, I'm going to carry on with that for a while. And I'll be back in a little bit.